So I'm stood on a moorland in the Peak District. This is blanket bog habitat, which is formed on peat soils, which have built up over thousands of years. So I've got two examples. This is of bare peat. So there are no plants growing in this at all. And then this one is of a healthy moorland. So lots of different plant species in here. So these plants are specially adapted to thrive in this environment so they can deal with the cold and the wet and the waterlogged conditions. And if you look in amongst these plants, uh, you find all sorts of different invertebrate species, such as beetles, moths, caterpillars, crane flies. And those invertebrates form part of the protein-rich diet that wading birds on the moorland will feed to their chicks. So species such as curlew, dunlin, snipe. And further up the food chain, we've got species such as short-eared owl, merlin, peregrine, and they all rely upon this healthy moorland. So bare peat, like this, there's nothing for the invertebrates to live in, no shelter, no food. But if we've got a healthy moorland like this, we've got the invertebrates and it also supports the bird life. So blanket bogs are worth protecting because of the wide range of wildlife that they support.